Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Today, I'm going to be showing you my opinion for the best solo queue build in the entire game, then show you how well it is while playing, obviously, solo queue. There are a lot of really good perks to choose from, but I think these are the best four, personally. Our first perk is Iron Will. Iron Will makes it so you leave no grunts of pain while injured. Next up, we have Unbreakable. Unbreakable lets you heal yourself while on the ground really fast, and once per game, you're allowed to pick yourself up without a teammate. Our third perk, and maybe the most important, is Bond. Bond lets you see all nearby teammates, which is crucial if you're solo queue, obviously, since now you'll get to know where everyone near you is. Our final perk will be any exhaustion perk, and I'm choosing Dead Hard because even though it's kind of broken right now, I prefer it over Sprint Burst and all the other exhaustion perks. And yeah, let's get into the video. By the way, I stream on Twitch and right here on YouTube, so make sure to check both of those out. Twitch link will be in the description, and make sure to like and subscribe to see more content. Alright guys, we are in on the Dead Dog Saloon. Personally, I'm pretty confused, still, about is this map killer sighted or survivor sighted? I constantly hear both. That's way too killer sighted, needs a nerf, way too survivor side, needs a nerf. It's a little odd. The killer probably spawn on that side. It's a nemesis. He did not notice me. Uh oh. Since we're here anyway and we're not doing anything, I think I'm just gonna follow him for a flashlight save. And that zombie wants to go snipe me. Uh oh, I probably can't make that in time, I was still running. Let's try waiting inside of him. Oh, that didn't seem to work out well, now did it? Maybe work on Jen. He has BT as well. Oh, he's on her. Ouch. That's a little odd. Okay, so that's shit number two done. I can go over to this person to finally get healed. Finish this now. Okay, this lady's running to the other side of the map. Uh oh. Let me try to catch up to her. Perfect. Come on, let me get the flashlight safe. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, ha, ha let's go. That was spooky. There we go. That escape was perfect. Ah, uh, I was so scared. I was and sad that I messed up the flashlight save, but luckily I got that. All right, guys, we are in on the suffocation pit, probably the most survivor side, in my opinion, at least one of the most survivor side maps in the game. Bond is telling us we only have one teammate on this side, which is very odd. So normally the killer spawns on one side. I'm gonna go for this hex totem. Looks like it's ruin. This will actually help out a lot, unless it's hex undying. Uh oh, it's a legion. So it looks like the Nia's probably gonna get chased. But we want to work on generator. Oh, yep, yeah, Nia's down. So I'm gonna go in over here for the save, because I know one of my teammates are over there to work on generator. They, it looks like they might be slugging. Okay, we got the flashlight save, because they, for some reason, slugged. Let's do a generator in their face. They can try to get on us. Maybe they're gonna get mad at us. I mean, we did get their ruin instantly. There we go. Okay. Unfortunately, that was not a fast fall like I thought it would be. There we go. Okay, she left us. Never mind. Okay, I thought that she was going to go over here, so I was trying to stun her out. Alright, that's good. Okay, yes, this generator right here in the corner is perfect. I'll try to get her on me now. Yep, I went right into the open, so she'll see me. It looks like she's going for the Nia. No, she's not. Yes, she is. No, Nia's death hook. That's not good. And she instantly picked up. Please have decisive strike. Nia just DC'd, because they took off the DC penalty. But that means I'm being chased now. Let's try to get her out of her frenzy. Nope. And it looks like she just wants us. We'll dead heart over here. Okay, that's a pretty weird glitch. Not gonna lie. Go over here. Okay, yep, she went over there, so we'll create some more distance. Okay. 
Okay, she went over here. So now what we're gonna do is try to get to this filler pallet. Okay, that should not have hit, but that is fine. Yui is getting chased. Yep, Yui is down. Not good. The killer has a ton of pressure now. There we go. No one's getting me. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, that was a really that was really clean and it felt weird. Uh oh, everyone's down. Except me. Okay, they're trying to psych me out. Oh! And I'm probably gonna get instantly picked up. No. Nope. That's alright, I have unbreakable. So if they go for me last in fear of decisive strike, then that's gonna be really good. I have <gasps> She has unbreakable too. What a gamer. That's alright, don't pick me up, don't pick me up. You run, you run. Run, run lady. And now I will unbreakable myself up. There we go, I'll go in for the save now. This is why we use unbreakable, guys. So now we're kind of back in the game. I think she saw us. Uh-oh. What I'm gonna do here is dead hard for the lunge. Here we go. She went that way. I'm pretty sure she's vaulting. Yep. I'll go to this TNL wall. She once again went that way. So I'll have time to vault this now. Okay, I get the blind. And now she'll go for me at Shack. Yep, she went that way, like I assume. I'm gonna have to go and drop Shack Pallet here if I can even make it. I confused her. Okay. Now I'll bring her over to these jungle gyms because I haven't really used any pallets yet. I've used like two. And it's unfortunately mostly TNL walls. I'll go back around this way. Let's see if I can make it over. Alright, she left us. Never mind, she didn't leave us. No. This was just in a bad spot. Because the TNL was over here. And we're down. This generator over here is about halfway done, so they should be able to apply enough pressure in the end to win.